previous video, we saw how we can take two different workflows from the same footage and generate two different solved cameras. Now we're going to use the Orient C nodes on both of these workflows. So let's go ahead and do that. Since we don't know anything about this footage and it was handed down to us without any kind of information from set that regards the lens or any kind of measurements from the set as well, then we would have to do a lot of guesswork. That's why I'm working with more than one pipeline workflow. So after the camera solver, I'm going back to my node panel and under the utilities, I have the Orient scene. I'm going to take the Orient scene, drag and drop, and I'm going to connect it here. So with the Orient scene, I can use either the edit mode of box axes or just try to do it manually by myself. I'm going to show you the both methods of the box and then the axes. So for this workflow, we're going to use the box. Working with the box might be a little bit difficult at times and you need to be very careful when you do so because the box itself might be a little bit finicky when it comes to sharp angles such as this box here that we see, the electric box that is. So I'm trying to match it as good as I can in order to set up the proper orientation of the scene. So right over here and take this point right there and now this point should be right there. You can also click on clear pins and that will clear up those stretchy red lines that you saw. Now I'm going to continue and try to match that box as good as possible. Uh, let's take a look at our 3D space. We haven't checked the 3D space since we solved the camera. Let's bring back the ground plane. And it seems that the camera here is a little bit too close to the ground. So we can say that the initial workflow of the box here is okay. And what we can do is now we can take the marquee tool, take one of the trackers that should be on the ground and click on set origin. We can take the box and just turn it off. And this is our initial origin point and we can go back to the edit mode, take the rotation and try to fix a bit the orientation of the trackers with the camera. Just a bit on the Y. There we go. Let's zoom out a bit and it might need to be rotated a tad on right over here and right over there. And let's repeat that process. We will go to the first camera solver, go to the utilities, orient scene and here we're going to activate the edit mode of axes. Let's Go back to the one cinema view and temporarily we'll turn off the grid and then we turn off the Y and Z. And this is very similar to the estimate focal. So I'm going to take this over here, move that over there, take this X line, move it right over there, turn off the X axis. Let's bring back the Y axis. And I'm just going to repeat the same kind of work I did with the estimate focal just to orient the scene properly. Let's bring back the ground. We can take the edit mode, switch it back to none, take the marquee tool, and this time we're gonna take this tracker and set it up as the origin. Okay, so here we're gonna to have to rework on the orientation. Let's take the rotate and rotate it up. And it's kinda of hard to match the grid to it because this little alleyway doesn't have a straight surface. So it might be a little bit problematic. It seems that over the years, the surface has caved a little bit. But just by looking at the Orient scene here and the Orient scene here, I can already tell that this workflow is more accurate than this workflow. And that is because you can see the difference in the grid itself. You can see here how the grid matches to the perspective lines in the footage in this workflow. And in this workflow, the perspective lines don't match at all, unless I try to continue and rotate the scene. But I will still export this workflow as well as this workflow just to test it later on. So we have now two different workflows that generate from the same footage. But that's okay. And we also added two different Orient C nodes on both of them. And we already have a hint and a guess which one of them is going to work and which one will not. So let's go to the next step.